hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing thank you so much for your love and your support to my channel i hope you are all safe so in today's video i'll be showing you how i'm going to make my fresh fish stew and a four euro this is um croaker i've already washed it and i've seasoned it with half seasoning cube half of this with aromat i've seasoned it so nice and seasoned and this is frozen spinach I've, i brought it out from the freezer earlier this morning so as you guys can see is the frost already is ready to be cooked and here i have onions dice already i have stock fish which i've uh, soaked inside hot water with salt so it's ready just i don't have a lot just because the vegetable is not a lot and i like stock fish inside my vegetable soup or a goosey soup because of that flavor it just gives to your soup i love it so much so and i don't like using a lot small like that it's okay for me i get the flavor so i also have iru locust beans i've also rinsed as well nice and clean i have another diced onions here which i'll be using for the fish stew so in here i have onions i have um Mm, bell peppers i have the sweet red long pepper and i have scotch bonnet which i've rinsed and i'll be blending with tomato plum one tomato plum that is what i'll be using for the fish stew and in another container i have just the sweet red long pepper and two scotch bonnets and a little bit of onions i'll be blending that will be for the vegetable uh the vegetable soup yeah that will be for the a four euro <laughs> let me just call it a four euro so i have aromat i'll be using I'll, i have two seasoning cube i might end up using one but i just have two just in case i'll be using palm oil this uh all this soup i'm making the stew and the soup will be i'll be needing palm oil for it so let's get started yeah, i'm going to pour the tomato plum i'm going to be adding the peppers So I just rinse the the container. I'm just pouring the water, and now I'm going to go and blend. So I'm going to blend the pepper for the vegetable. I'll be adding a little bit of water. So I'm going to boil it till the water is dry. thick i'm going to add a little bit of water so this has been cooking on for the past 25 minutes so i'll be adding half of the chicken now 
because there's two inside i'm going to add half because my fish were seasoning with uh, half of this and a bit of aromas i didn't add any salt so i'm going to be adding my fish I'm going to allow it to cook I'll be back in five minutes so this is five minutes later and I'm going to taste it for salt because I've not had salt it's just aromat I add to it and you know taste it if we needed salt you can see Mmm, it's delicious, but you needed salt. So instead of salt, I'll be adding aromat. Very delicious. So, as you all know, fish does not take long to cook. So I'm going to be leaving this for another five to six minutes. And then the fish is ready. The fish too will be ready in five minutes. Okay. Okay, so my fish stew is ready. Can you guys see? The fish stew is ready. It's bringing up oil. Can you see? It's bringing up oil there. That shows it's ready. I didn't use a lot of oil. But we, are we are trying to stay healthy lifestyle. <laughs> we are trying to live healthy. So the fish stew is ready. I'm going to take it off from the cooker. Hot. And I'm going to be pouring palm oil. We are going to start making the foil roll. Need to allow that to get hot. So the oil is hot. I'm going to add the onions and also the eel. If you want the best foil roll, this is how you make it. Very simple. Not heavy. Not heavy at all. So I'll be adding the half maggi. I'm going to stir that for about a few seconds. About one minute or so. Yeah, one minute. So I'll be adding the stock fish. Just to mix all that together. So now the pepper we boil earlier. I'm just going to add it. I'm going to leave this to cook for about five minutes. So this is my spinach. I add into a container. I'm going to be adding salt, a little bit of salt. I'll be adding hot water. I'm very used to adding hot water to my spinach. This is optional. If you don't like adding hot water to your spinach, you don't have to. So I'm going to go and sift it. So I'm back on the sauce. This is about six minutes later. It's not gonna take time because remember we've already cooked the pepper. So I'm going to taste it. <laughs> mm, very nice and sweet. But there's no salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit because remember I add salt to the spinach. 
before adding water okay so this is my spinach wow <laughs> so i'm going to mix all that together this is what we call a foil there's a different way of making a foil you know sometimes you can add uh, all your assorted meat all sort of fish snails you know but this one is just for you know if you want to have it with stew this is how you make it but if you want to have it on its own you don't want to have it with stew you can add all the orishi rishi meat inside okay so I'm going to be tasting it and make sure that it's well seasoned. And I like my four nice and green. I don't like when vegetable soup is overcooked. I like seeing my vegetable to be nice and green. Once it's overcooked, it just puts me off. <laughs> so I'm going to be tasting it with my finger. With my hands, I mean. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Delicious. Perfect. Mmm delicious delicious so nice so nice so once I mix it like this it's ready all done all done guys we finished cooking thank you so much for watching so I'm going to be serving my vegetable soup it's very delicious and what you can have with this you can have it with pounded yam, a oatmeal fufu, brown rice, any swallow of your choice. Because <laughs> if I say, let me begin to name all the swallows name, I won't live here today. So any swallow of your choice, you can also have it with rice, boiled yam, boiled plantain, boiled potatoes. Trust me guys, anything of your choice. You can even have it with bread. Sometimes my husband normally have it with bread. I'm like, why are you having a four euro with bread? Like, who does that? We were like, it's too yummy. Okay. So, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for cooking with me. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe. If you like what you see, you like to see more recipe, daily vlogs, DIY, um, home remedy. <laughs> Um, everything, everything on this channel. Do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell. And those of you that you keep coming back, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Keep safe. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.